Hello church, it's Nathan here. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a Sunday Kids leader um, and I've been given the amazing opportunity to lead you guys in prayer today on this amazing Sunday morning. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. So you guys can just do whatever you want to connect with God. Stand up, jump up and down, close your eyes, go on your knees. Just do whatever helps you connect with God as we pray. So God, I just come before you God today on this amazing day, God. I just want to thank you, God, for all the blessings that you've given us, God. All the peace that you're going to give us, God. All the joy that you're giving us, God. I just pray, God, that you fill each and every one of our lives, God. That, God, that during this day, time where we have uh, a lot of time to ourselves, God, a lot of time to relax, hang out with family, God, that, that you just help us to remember to connect with you, God. And help us to remember, God to listen to your word, God, and pray to you, God, and listen out for your voice, Jesus. So I just pray over each and every one of our church members, God, uh, those that have joined us during the quarantine, God, and those that have been with us for a long time, God, I just pray over each and every one of you that, that God would just fill your life, God, that God would just fill your life with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control, God. Just fill them up with your Holy Spirit. Just fill them up, God. I also want to pray for our Sunday kids, God, that, that, that each and every one of them, God, will continue to grow in their relationship with you, God. That they'll continue to learn, God, and they'll continue to have fun at Sunday kids, God. I just pray that you just bless each and every one of them with your Spirit, God, with your Holy Spirit, that you just fill them up, God, with your Holy Spirit, Jesus. Thank you, God. I also want to pray over each and every one of the, the groups that we have throughout the week, God. That, that you just uh, help them keep going strong, God, despite not being able to see each other in person, God. You just keep people connected in those groups, God. That, yeah, God, that, they, that, that, that they'll just continue just to grow in friendships, God, and relationships with each other, God, in those groups, Jesus. Just pray that you just bless each and every one of them, God. Just fill them with your love, God. Fill them with your spirit, Jesus. God, I just also want to pray over the NHS, God, and, and anyone else affected, Jesus. All those sacrifice, all those people making sacrifices, God. Putting themselves in the danger zone, God. God, I just pray that you just fill them with your Holy Spirit, Jesus. That they just have such an powerful encounter if they haven't had one already God that those lives would just turn to you Jesus God we just want to worship you today God we want to feel your spirit God your love your power Jesus so God I just pray that you fill us with your power God fill us with your love Jesus yes Jesus thank you God Yes, God. Amen. Amen. So, guys, I just want to bless you um, and please just have a God-filled week. Well, thank you for that, Nathan. And it's really good, isn't it, Margaret, to have some of our uh, younger younger men leading us in, in prayers. That's, it's that's, absolutely brilliant. Such a blessing. It is. And we pray that the Lord would add more uh, young adults into our fellowship. That's, that's going to be the future of the church. Oh, yes. Uh, information for you uh, today. On Thursday, it's Paul Morley's funeral. And uh, it, it's a private affair, it's over in Manchester. Government uh, guidelines say only about 10 people can be present. But what we ask you to do is to spend a moment in your own home sometime on Thursday and just be still and give thanks for the life of Paul and for his ministry. His ministry it was far and wide, not just in this uh, part of the world, but also right across the country and, and right across the world in, in many, many nations. And let's pray for the family as well, for Christine and for Helen and for Andrew and for Jonathan and uh, all the grandchildren. Let, let's remember them on Thursday and give thanks for Paul. Uh, OK, last week I showed you uh, a little clip of uh, our grandson. Thank you. I kept saying my grandson last week, but it's our, our grand grandchildren. No, it was our grand grandson. Our grandson, <laughs> that's right, Alfie. And uh, we ask you to send in uh, clips 
uh, of, of new skills that you were doing or, or things that were entertaining a little bit like are you being framed it would be great fun to see uh, how you're handling uh, lockdown well in a moment we're going to show you a, a little clip uh, of our youngest grandson and that's charlie and the last time we we looked after him which was just before uh, lockdown yeah. uh, we took him for a little walk and uh, we put on uh, sh some shoes first time he'd ever worn shoes and uh, we, we we walked him outside but we walked him inside and i filmed uh, walking to the door and I sang a little song over him and then towards the end of the clip I said hello to him and uh, I'm sure he said hello back. You <laughs> listen very very carefully. I think not only was it the first time he wore shoes, it's the first time he ever said hello to anybody and it was to his granddad. Uh, so maybe we'll show you the clip twice so you can listen out for that. And then immediately after that we're going to show you an, another clip uh, from the Pinkertons and this is life at the Pinkertons uh, during lockdown. So let's see those uh, movies and immediately after that uh, Mark is going to speak to you. Walking in my shoes, I'm walking in my shoes today, I'm walking in my shoes, whatever shall I say, <laughs> I'm walking in my shoes, I'm walking in oh, my, oh I've fitness. fallen down, but I like my shoes, <laughs> I love my shoes. Let's put you in the bug bug. Hello. 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 I'm walking in my shoes. I'm walking in my shoes today. I'm walking in my shoes, whatever shall I say. <laughs> I'm walking in my shoes. I'm walking in oh, my... Oh, I've fallen down. Day. But I like my shoes. <laughs> I love my shoes. Let's put you in the bug bug. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Hi to our church family. We are the Pinkertons, and we have been asked to show a few you a few changes in our life since lockdown. I hope you're all well and I hope you like this video. Take it away. This is school. Computers have crashed. So this is school, but not as you know it. Oh. <laughs> and Mike goes back to join the NHS workforce at Bassett Law. But to protect the family, he moves into the caravan. When asked, how we felt about having to live apart from the family, we think this video sums it up. Because of coronavirus, you are going to be quarantined, but you have a choice. Do you A, quarantine with your wife and child, or B, B. 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 Georgia and I start to do exercise with Joe Wicks. And other exercise includes running, Trampolining, table tennis, and dog walking. Oscar's um, chicken, bacon, and leek homemade pie. Okay, keep cutting then. I think we need, yeah, probably get six portions out of that. Okay, very proud of it. We'll let you know how it tastes. Oscar and Mike strip and paint an old wooden desk ready for homeschooling and Georgia enjoys learning to mow the lawn and jet washing. We sew scrub bags for care workers and saying our thanks to essential workers. And of course a major change in our life, as with all of us, is home church learning the new technologies to connect with our church family and worship God together whilst apart. Well, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Can you do it, Georgia? Okay, right. Bye. 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 Goodbye from us, the right. Pinktons.
We miss you. Bye, everybody. Bye. We'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Pinkertons. Hello, church. John's asked me to talk again about finances and about Facebook. So following on from last week, last week I asked you um, if the online things you shared, that you commented on and you liked represented the love of Jesus. And um, I guess that prompted a couple of different reactions in people. Some of you thought your posts of course represented Jesus and uh, we'll leave that one there today um, but uh, other people basically went ah Mark is asking us to evangelize and it scared you and you basically shut down at that point and thought I'm gonna hardly touch Facebook again or something like that and um, I need to say that I think some people have built that up into something much bigger than it really has to be. A witness is a called to court to give testimony, but they're called just to share what they saw happen. That's all witnessing is. It's you telling your story, the story of what you have seen. And it's just like that with us and witnessing about God. All we are asked to do is to share what we've seen God do, to share the love of Jesus with people around us. It's nothing bigger than that. We're not asked to, um, to, to answer big questions. We are just called to share what we've seen God do. So if you have friends and you use social media, yes, it is simple to share with them, but I don't think that's the end. I think that is just the very beginning of what we need to do. It's the start of a conversation with friends. And remember, in those conversations, you do not have to have all the answers. You do not have to be able to answer questions about transubstantiation, propitiation and the ecumenical nature of the Godhead. You do not need to know those answers. All you're being asked to do is share how much God loves you and what effect that has had on your life. It's OK for you not to know the answer to all the questions. You can just say, I don't know. Don't definitely don't ever get into an argument over it. It's not worth arguing over. And if you like the person who's asked you the tough question, maybe you could offer to find out for them and you could ask around for some good information. When I think about it, I'm not sure this even just applies to Facebook and online sharing. Maybe this implies to face to face sharing as well, provided we keep two metres apart. I'd like to give a quick reminder about 714. A few weeks ago, John called us as a church to pray at 714 every day. You could choose in the morning or in the evening or both if you like. But we were to pray for our current situation, the COVID-19 stuff. You know all of the different things going on and you'll all have a different angle in which you want to pray. You can pray for healing for the sick, protection for frontline staff, for key workers, wisdom for government and vaccine developers. You can pray against loneliness and isolation for people. You can pray for families stuck in with their toddlers. You know the different things that you need to pray for that are on your heart at the moment. We might be separate church, but we pray together to one God who listens to us all. We're going to move back into worship now. And as we do so, we're going to take up our virtual tithes and offerings. We are online as church and our offerings are digital. Thank you so much if you give by standing order or online. And uh, if you want more information on how to give, if you just check with wherever you found the link for this service, uh, there's details on our website and on Facebook. And I've also put a link in the description to this video for, uh, for you to be able to give by PayPal. So if you're that desperate, you can just click through now to give as you worship. Let's pray. Father God, I want to thank you that you don't ask us to do tough things. You just ask us to share about how much you love us. Lord, we ask that you give us courage to take steps to tell our friends about you and about how much you love them. Lord Jesus, we thank you for all the blessings you poured out on us. And Lord, as we move back into worship, we ask that you take our offerings, our virtual offerings, and that you use them to build your kingdom. 
We thank you so much that you've blessed us. Take this small offering back, Lord. Come Holy Spirit, we open our lives to you now. Amen. Let's worship. <laughs>